Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Buck and Brock Show, episode one. No more introductions. No Actual more real stuff now. This is real. Um, real quick, just want to say thank you to everyone who viewed the show on YouTube definitely. and subscribed and followed us on Twitter and whatnot. Oh, yeah, definitely. Any support we can get, we'll take. And we definitely appreciate the support we've been getting on Absolutely. all social media fronts and stuff. Yeah. Um, right, want to go in? Let's wanna, dive in. Want to do the talk right or talk to do? Let's talk. All right. Let's talk baseball. How's your day? Oh, okay, baseball, yeah. <laughs> Um, NLDS, uh, game one. Let's talk about the wild card games real quick, dude. Let's... Right, the wild card yeah, games. Yeah, there's some baseball games this week. You're right. Some entertaining ones. Yes. I mean, besides A's game, that was a... Right. Ugh. Uh, yeah. Ugh. Cubs, Cubs, Cubs against Rockies. Yep. I expected the Cubs to win that game. I didn't want the Cubs to win, which they did it, but at the same time, I really thought they were. Yeah. I mean, the Cubs offense really hasn't gotten going in the last couple of weeks, so... No, they good. were... Just to think, I saw something. They were f- within four days having the best record in the NL to watching the rest of the playoffs <laughs> at home. I know. But, I mean, good for the Rockies, though. Yeah. I mean. They're a good, feel they're, a good story. There's no way that doesn't like yeah, the Rockies. Rocktober. Right? Rocktober. Rocktober. You all in for that? Brocktober. Brocktober. Rocktober. Sure. Yeah, and now they're going up against the Brewers, which they just played. Yeah. Brewers yesterday. won that game in the 10th. They blew it too, which is insane because the Bo- Brewers' bullpen is. Rocky scored gnarly. two in the ninth. Yeah. And to the Stockers had to walk it off. The that moose dude. was loose. Wow. <laughs> it was it loose? The moose was loose. <laughs> good, for, good for Moose Stockies. Good right. for the Brewers. Yeah. RBI single in the 10th inning. Right. They um, were. Yeah. Yeah, they were. So. That's an interesting series. Who do you think going to win that series? I think the Brewers are one of the most dangerous teams in the whole playoffs. I think so. Their offense is so good in their bullpen. Their offense is good, and you got Hader, you got Knable, and then you have um, Jeffries, who came in. But, um, yeah, I just think with the way, I mean, they have the best hitter in the planet right now, Christian Yelich. I don't know about the planet. You forgot that there's, like, the Red Sox have, like, Mookie Betts and, like, J.D., who hit pretty well this yeah, year. You know Mookie uh, Betts bat 343, right? Yeah, and he, I mean, he's going to get votes for AL MVP, but... I just think Christian Yelich right now, along with the bullpen. The thing is with the Brewers, though, is the starting pitching is what I don't I don't think they have. I don't like though. it either. I really don't. I, I, I mean, well, they're also, an, I feel like the NL's not, like, as strong as the AL this year. I think the AL definitely has better, I mean, better lineups. Better lineups and Yankees. rotations. Like, what rotation can stack up? Oh, no. I mean, the with, Astros. Yeah. I mean, Cleveland, you have, if Bauer's back and healthy, you yeah. have Bauer. Carrasco. Carrasco, and, and you have Kluber, obviously. Yeah. That's... Still the AL, NL like, I don't yeah. see how the NL wins the World Series this year. I don't think the NL does. I think it's. I, I think, think the Brewers are going to take this series. Yeah. They're going to go in and they're going to face. I probably the Dodgers. I, I assume the Dodgers. You're as well. a Dodger fan. You're going to say that. I'm I absolutely a Dodger fan. despise the Dodgers. Uh, they played last night actually. They Great did. Um, Ryu, threw very good. Seven innings, two hits. Yeah, and he really commanded the strike zone. Mm-hmm. I mean, with every every pitch, you know, he fastball up, cutters up, and then he had a good breaking ball, which is good. And then we yeah. just give the ball to Kershaw for game two. So. Okay, man, you acting like it's Kershaw in the regular season. You know, Kershaw in the postseason is a little different story. Yeah, with the Cardinals, he's playing the Braves. With any team, man. Okay, well, I'm still look, comfortable look this, giving what is, him the ball. Are you comfortable with him? Absolutely. He's, really? he's been the best pitcher in the game the last five years. I have years. a question Almost, for that, though. If yeah, you're so comfortable yeah. with him, how come he didn't throw game one? That's not my conversation to have oh, okay. with him. I mean, that's probably a tough conversation for Roberts to have. Say, hey, hey you're, you're, you're good. You're ball. just you're, you're good. You're just not ball. good enough right now. Game two. <laughs> His velocity is down, but that still doesn't have me shy away from giving him the ball in a game five or a game seven situation. Yeah. Okay. To me. So um, and f- so Dodgers. Who's winning NL pennant? Dodgers. Hundred percent. No, seriously. You think Do- so? Dodgers, Brewers, NLCS, and yeah. then Dodgers winning it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who do you I have for AL? F- I think the Brewers are going to take this. I think they're just for the American League. No, just in yeah for I, NL. Yeah, I general. think Brewers are going to face the Dodgers in LCS. And I'm going with the Brewers in the World Series. AL. I mean, I'd be. I mean, I feel like the Astros are going to get there just because of the pitching and and the lineup. I agree with that. When too. you I've can roll out that. Verlander, Keuchel, Morton, and McCullers. You forgot somebody, dude. I know I forgot somebody. Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole. <laughs> you forgot their number two I've starter. <laughs> you forgot sorry, their... sorry to Garrett Cole for forgetting sorry. him about that. If he somehow hopefully watches he, this, hopefully he'll he know watches the show. Started. We're big fans of Garrett Cole. UCLA. Are you because you forgot? 
Yeah, no, I'm not a big fan. Right, whatever. <laughs> You're a USC fan. It's whatever. It's whatever. But it's still, who do you have winning the World Series in? You have the Astros? No. Why would I have the Astros winning the World <laughs> you Series? Just don't be all, you just They're going to get there. Dodgers are going to win so the you, World Series. <laughs> okay, back to a serious note. The Astros, anybody in the AL will beat the Dodgers. Okay, that's your opinion, but I, <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. All right, ask, I have, Fulton, I have, ask Fulton Millich how he did last night. Yeah, blowing 97-98. Jock, lead off. Boom! That's not Verlander. I'm saying the velocity, <laughs> the high velocity doesn't matter to the I Dodgers. never say anything about high velocity. I'm saying that. I'm saying anyone who throws with high velocity, that's not going to... I don't think that's a matchup you want against the Dodgers because they hit oh, high velocity. Oh, I'll just velocity. throw Keiko then. That's what I would say. I would say throw somebody who's more of a location guy rather than just straight cheese. So you're telling me you throw a guy that throws 80 poo in the playoffs before Verlander just because... Not 80 poo, I'm saying a guy like... Verlander throws hard. A guy like Keiko who can cut it, who's So you're throwing Keiko slider. over Verlander in a must-game situation against the Dodgers. <laughs> no, Verlander the Bulldog, the reason why they got and won the World Series last year because of how good he did during the stretch when he got traded. Yeah, and I'm not saying I wouldn't give the ball to Verlander for a Game 5 or a Game 7, but I'm just saying, for me, I think the better, I mean, matchup is with a guy who doesn't throw... You know, doesn't rely just on velocity. Who can throw a by him? So you're saying the matchup. He's not. So it's game play. seven, of the World Series, and you have Kershaw against <coughs> Verlander. Who, who would you be more comfortable with? Kershaw. But that's bias. That's bias. <laughs> that's 100 percent bias because okay, that's yeah. a, there's so <laughs> many stats that we want to bring up. Don't even bring them up. Don't I'm bring not, them you up. You don't okay? want me to because you're wrong. <laughs> Whatever. Don't bring them up then. Y'all for MVP now. We said bias before. We Yelich both said bias. Yeah, Can we be it. straightforward with each other and say that Yelich is going to win it hands down? Yeah, yeah that's, 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 uh, it might be unanimous. It, yeah. That's, that's good coffee. <laughs> Dark Horse Coffee, good for you. Shout out to Dark Horse Coffee, by the way. Is that like a place or just a just It's a, a place. It is a place that sells great coffee. Maybe they'll sponsor us because we said that one line. Maybe. But wow. I doubt it. Let's move on. What yeah. else we got? Let's talk about a little, let's go with the little harder hitting action. Let's go with the NFL. Let's go with football. There's something that's intri- getting soft. Yes, that's what we're gonna <laughs> talk about. But it's, they are definitely the soft. The NFL is getting soft. Yes. I'm sorry to Clay Matthews, by the way. I feel yeah. bad for that guy. I do too. I would have lost my. Imagine mind. like doing your job and just being punished for it. Doing it right and then getting. That was like me <laughs> when I worked at the Mission Bay Sports Center. I got in trouble for throwing a kid when I was. I mean that's pretty cut and dry. Just don't throw an eight year old in the. <laughs> eight year olds like being thrown in the water. They like yeah, maybe thrown. by their dad, not by a stranger. You psycho! Wow, <laughs> you really feel, man? <laughs> it's, it's great to know. Okay, I'm gonna go. So we're going to, NFL. We'll yes, I want to talk about a little something today. I've noticed other people like Colin Coward, all these other people have mentioned it too. We might be as NFL fans in the golden age of quarterbacks. I we agree. might be. We might be where it's the most death and the most complete quarterbacks on all the teams that we've ever seen because you I still agree. got the old guns you have tom brady you still got rogers big ben matt drew brees matt ryan you have all these guys are even that old like rogers still probably got like five years in them Phil brady Rivers. might play till he's 69 right. you have like big <laughs> ben why are you laughing man Sorry. big ben just seems to keep playing and playing yeah but and what? It, we're in a good age where those guys are on their way out but then you got guys like wentz goff these uh, Dak Prescott, all these guys are on their way in. Get them, I mean, and that's not even to say the rookies, Baker. Um, yeah, which Sam crazy Darnold. is a guy that you didn't mention that's probably leading MVPs right now is Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. Look at these little stats for his first season starting: sixty-five percent completion percentage, yeah, twelve hundred yards exact, fifteen total touchdowns, <laughs> and he hasn't thrown it to the other team. No yeah. interceptions. Like, yeah, he has like the most I, probably yeah. complete weapons in the NFL. But right now, would you agree, Golf and Mahomes MVP? Like, I mean, Gurley's going to take each other. away votes from God. I think so, too, but I will still consider between those two. And yeah, get, they're 23 so. years old. The I mean, from year to year, Goff has, Just has probably proved. made... I mean, you also have Sean McVay, who might be the greatest, the best coach in all sports. I Yeah, he's got them playing hard every he, week. He actually cares. And, like, there's a quote that was from Brandon Cooks, like, when you see the energy of their coach, it's going to... Every time they score the a touchdown, he's running to Jared Goff. Yeah, and he's like, over there just knocking He's like him a little down. kid almost, but he has memory of like Albert Einstein. Is that I right? I don't know if he had good memory, but I mean, Albert Einstein I think was he smart. He's just good at math. 
McAfee's got to be good at something. Right. So teams undefeated. He's good at coaching football. But yeah, like, <coughs> all did these you young turn, quarterbacks. Did you t- uh, turn into that Monday night game with Mahomes? Yeah. Against Denver? Rolling out. <laughs> left, left hand. hand. Flipped to Tyreek Hill. You guys seen Tom Brady doing that? <coughs> I have not. Yeah, but he also has 500 career touchdowns. Yeah, Tom Brady. Good for him. Good for him, but still, like, back to the young quarterback conversation. It's like, when those people are gone, you're going to have Mahomes, who's 23 years old. You have Goff, who's 23 years old. You have Sam Darnold, who's a rookie that's still shown, like, potential with that. Baker Carson Mayfield, Wentz is only 25. Obviously. Baker Mayfield. What Baker Mayfield brings to a team when it comes to his just energy and hard He's work very ethic? He is. But it's gotta mean, be as a quarterback. I feel like in any sport, you gotta go out there saying, I'm better than you. Yeah. Beat and, my best stuff. And for Pitching, any, basketball, any number like one that. pick, you have to be like ready to go, ready well, yeah. to play. Like, I mean, he, you're not taking number one if you're gonna go and sit. That's why I think they should have started him in the I first mean, from week one. But Well just like and say like people like try to compare him to Johnny Manziel because like, you can somewhat say it's cocky and stuff, but like Johnny Manziel came from a childhood where he was a spoiled I don't, he's just spoiled. Yeah. He was in a rich I mean, family. He had everything a, handled. Baker Mayfield, a, listen to this. High school was a backup. The only reason why he started was because of an injury. He didn't start until his senior year. All right. Had no D1 offer, so he went to Texas Tech where his buddy was going, who was also a quarterback. Mm-hmm. Went there, was supposed to be a red shirt, worked his way out of it, play, got the starting job, and then got hurt. Somebody took his job. And he goes to Oklahoma, he goes to Oklahoma walks Oklahoma. onto that, <laughs> and then Heisman Trophy. But you want to know his interest is that? You know who took his job at Texas Tech? Who? Patrick Mahomes. Good for him. <laughs> Imagine being a college <laughs> coach saying, oh, I have Patrick Mahomes and Baker Mayfield. And Mahomes played baseball, too. He threw, like, 95. That's the rumor. That's that's fact, baby. <laughs> okay, but first off, <laughs> baby, at 95, years, or 95 miles per hour was at 8th grade. That was a rumor. He threw cheese. In eighth grade, he threw 95? <laughs> I don't know about that. Exactly. Now your little, your little source is a little... I mean... If he threw 95 in eighth grade... First wrong. pick. <laughs> first pick from eighth grade. <laughs> Skipped high school. You're right. Skipped high school. You're right. Yeah. What do we got next? What do we got next today? Let's go with... Um, it was interesting. Two days ago, the NBA GMs did their, an, or their yearly surveys... On their predictions and stuff. What is that? And like so, there's, like, there's questions that are sent out to, like, the NBA, to the GMs. the GMs. Yep. They just answer the questions. They answer questions, like, and stuff like this. Like, for example, like, one of them was, which team will win in 20, 2019 NBA Finals? That's hard. Eight, yeah. Warriors. 87% of the people, of the GMs, Golden picked State. the Warriors. Right. With Boston, Houston getting 7% of that. I mean, we're, as we're going to go through this, we're going to go with, with the NBA... GM's pig. What we think about that and mm-hmm. what we think. So, I mean, we're all going to agree Golden State's going to win, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, there's no really... Like, they're starting you know, five as an all-star there's team. There's no discussion on it. But player, they said for an MVP, they're going with LeBron James of the Los Angeles Lakers. 30% of the votes went towards him. With last year actually getting 50% of the votes. What I'm do you think not, about that? I'm not not a LeBron fan. You're not saying no. I'm not saying no. But what? I just feel like... Yeah, the move to the Lakers is huge, and he's around guys like Lonzo and Brandon Ingram. But for the MVP, I don't know. I feel I don't. Th- I just don't think he's going to win the MVP. I think it's more like on the lines of maybe Russell Westbrook or yeah. I think they, I would say Steph Curry, but that's also bias. I'm a big Steph Curry fan. Um, I think he goes and wins it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. You, random laugh, but um. <laughs> I think LeBron wins it if they're a top three seed in the West. Um, I think if they're that say they're the number two seed and they're two games off from the Warriors, that young team. Seed, I know. I'm saying that's the only way. Right. But I think who I, you know what he's gonna win MVP this year? Who? Because he worked out with Kobe. He's already doing pull up jumpers now. Are you saying Jason Tatum? Are you no, say Jason Tatum? I'm not gonna say okay. Jason Tatum. He, he's been doing pull up jumpers his whole life, man. I'm going to go with Giannis Akamadingo, or however you say his last name. Antetokounmpo. Akam- Show the man some respect. Akamadingo. Sure. But anyways, that guy averaged 10 rebounds last year, 25 points, and just start, And he's the Greek freak. And now he's showing signs in the preseason of a pull-up jumper. The only From reason three. why he didn't score 50 points a game is because he couldn't shoot a three. And now he can shoot. 
You see what I'm saying? That could be scary. And the Bucks could be a surprise team in East. Say he leads his team to a top two seed as well in the East. I agree with that. I like the Bucks. Because the East is so... I mean, it's not... You have, like, three dominant teams. You have the Raptors. You have the Sixers. You have the Celtics. But, I mean, the Bucks are surprised. If they surprise like that, Giannis could be the reason why. I feel like Giannis is a guy who can get his own shot at any time he wants. Well, he's seven foot, seven feet tall. That's what I mean. He takes two steps from the three... Three point line. He's at They've the shown videos where he's taking two dribbles and he dunks. Or he Euro steps and it's a yeah. dunk. Like, he's got a good Euro. European. Big European guy. Yeah. So, there's another question I was interested in. Maybe we should talk about. If you're starting a franchise today and could sign any player in the NBA, who would it be? Um, I mean, from. From a really like you want a young guy, obviously. Yeah, right? you want young, but you want I feel like you want young that's shown either potential or shown. That's yeah. tough. I mean, what do you think? Um, I would think, and actually, like that's what GMs went with. I would go with Giannis because Giannis is still like young. I don't know exact age. Like, I can look it up real quick, but he's only like he's maybe 23, 20. 24 years old. I think he's like twenty four. Are you looking that up? Yep. Okay, great. Um. You can't say, like, could you say Kevin Durant? I don't know. Kevin Durant was on there, actually. I think he was the third most vote. I mean, I guess I started with Kevin Durant. I mean. You think so? He's still, like, 29. He's 20, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, How many more I years? Could've... And he's the kind of guy that said that he would retire <coughs> by the age of, like, 35. Like, he said he could play five more years and he'd be satisfied with everything. Yeah. But... I don't know. That's a tough one for that me. That is a tough question. Maybe, like, Ben Simmons. Ooh, Ben Simmons, that's a good vote, too. I'm going to go with Ben Simmons. I Would you my... rather go with Ben Simmons or Donovan Mitchell? Wow. Uh, for me, um, nothing against Mitchell. I think he's a great player, and I think he can score the basketball really well. But I think how Ben Simmons, he's a bigger – I mean, he runs the point, obviously. Mm-hmm. He's, he's more of a pass-first guy. I just think Ben Simmons really needs to develop a mid-range shot. A mid-range Definitely. jump shot, you know, because then he can just take the take the guards into the post and score at will. But mm-hmm. the problem is right now he doesn't have a great jump shot. I would still take Ben Simmons, I guess, for that. And there's some other funny ones that I was looking like most fun to watch. They have the Warriors, which is to be expected. They Very have fun to five watch. All have stars. fun watching them. But then they have like some other things like which player is the most athletic? And they have Russell Westbrook taking almost fifty percent of the votes. I agree. I do agree with that. That's just like a little fun one too. Best pure shooter. They have Steph, Steph Curry. Steph and Clay. Don't say anything different. Wow. You know can I, Steph. Can I go on now? Sure. All right. Well, so I'm just saying. Well, who other people got votes? I know who you would say. Who? What? Probably you probably throw out LeBron or something, huh? You're a big LeBron guy. No, I am a big LeBron guy. But <laughs> I'm, not, I'm also a reasonable guy. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Best shooters definitely yeah. Hassan Whiteside. Who? Which player's the fastest with the ball? That was a joke, by the way. Hassan Whiteside is seven foot. Center. He blocks shots. He's fastest with the ball, Russell Westbrook. Yeah. Best player at moving without the ball, Clay Thompson. Like, it's just funny stuff like that, which is it's kind of insane too to I see. Agree. Which player is the best passer? Chris Paul was second with 17%. LeBron got 50% of the votes as, as a, a small passer? forward power forward. Yeah. Yeah, he does have good. I mean, he's, he has good court. He's good. Vi- he just has so much IQ. You know. Toughest player in NBA. That's one of them. LeBron's got second for toughest player. He's. Yeah, he's tough. I mean, yeah, he is, but at the same time, he does complain a little bit. Like, I'm a big LeBron fan. He's a complainer. I'm not going to lie. He is a complainer. I'd rather watch, like... He's the most versatile player, they say. The best leader. Best IQ. He's the best player But what's crazy about that, best player in the world, yeah, which leads to this one. Which player would you want taking a shot with the game on the line? They have Kevin Durant getting 40% of the vote, with Steph second. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't... I feel like a team with the Warriors, you can pick anybody to take the last shot, but I feel like the focus would be on Kevin Durant to take the game-winning shot. Although it's, Steph, it's, Steph, that's Steph, a tricky question because if you're talking jump shot, I feel like obviously you'd go with Kevin Durant. But like, yeah, but I, you, I would almost use it's him. a tied game, Game Seven NBA Finals, ten seconds left. They're saying that they want Kevin Durant with the ball, yeah, I and would, Steph but. before the best player on the planet, and arguably the greatest player of all time. Is that saying something about like, LeBron, or like, is that saying something about KD? I don't even think it's just that. I think it's just the team because if you, you're you're talking about, but the it's Warriors. not asking which team. It's asking which player would you want taking the shot. Yeah, but I would want Kevin Durant. But the problem is, I feel like teams would be keyed in on Kevin Durant in that 
in that point in the game to where you use Kevin Durant as maybe a decoy. You have Clay come get it. You have Steph come get it, yeah. and you go from there. But, I mean, how are you going to explain that the next day? Oh, why didn't your best player take the final shot? So That's true. That's where LeBron's gotten some, like, backlash at because – Sometimes LeBron's, he take LeBron's not shot. Michael Jordan. Yeah. LeBron's more like Magic Johnson, where it's not where he tries to force up a shot because he's the best player. It's no, more he's not he tries to find the shot. best shot. Yeah. And so sometimes in those game winning situations, take that shot. he gets triple team, and instead of taking a shot and taking the backlash, he passes it out. Which is somebody. a smarter play, but it is a smarter ask, play. But oh, why didn't LeBron yeah, take the last? You're the best shot. player. Why not take the? I don't know. I agree. Well, that's interesting. The, and the GMs though pretty much say they love LeBron. But they also yeah. love the Warriors, which obvious makes <laughs> yeah. sense. Um, you want to switch gears a little bit now? Yeah, let's go to college football. Let's talk a little bit about. Let's talk about Kyler Murray. Le- I would love to talk about yeah. Kyler Murray. Um, Huge fan. I personally am an Oklahoma fan, so watching him going from Baker to him, I've had a treat. Embarrassment of riches, right? Is that it, correct? It, yeah, it is. Like they are just transfer gurus, I guess, at Oklahoma. They I say, guess. "Oh, you don't want to play at your school." Come be a Heisman front runner. <laughs> you don't want to play at your school. Come be a Heisman front If front-runner no here. one knows, um, Kyler Murray was the ninth overall pick in the draft to the Oakland A's. Yeah, for Except- baseball, exceptional athlete. I'm pretty sure didn't he sign already? Four- that dude is walking around Oklahoma University with four million dollars. I think it's closer to five. It probably is. It- he's. I'm not got- sure what but the still, signing the fact bonus is, he has there. that much in his bank account right now. Just he's, walking around being the just Oklahoma college starting. Football. Does he even have to like go to class? Is he like a grad? Why go to class? Just do enough to have season and leave. Like and what just, he's done with his football season, he reports. He's done. <laughs> what if he gets drafted in the NFL though? Can he not do that? I mean, he, no. I get. I mean, he could, I mean, but I mean, he he's not going to. He already said what happened. He signed the contract, so I'm guessing the contract it says you play your one year and gone, there, which yeah. it did. <laughs> I mean, but the fact is, like, still, like, he's just taking over. Like, he had seven touchdowns last week. Yeah, I mean... Seven touches. I mean, yeah, they're facing Baylor in a Big 12 isn't the known for their defense, but the fact is that they had seven touchdowns. You know who the last quarterback to have seven touchdowns for Oklahoma was? Baker Mayfield. <laughs> Baker Mayfield. Baker. Let's right. move on. Let's move what on, yeah. Like, who do you think... All right, let's talk about a little bit of a team that's been dominating, that always dominates, Alabama. but now is... Scared. Yeah. Alabama, we know every year, just says, oh, you're the best defensive player in high school, come to my team. You're the best defensive player in high school, come to my team. Well, Let's have 20 first-round picks on defense in the last, like, six that's years. That's all and Nick Saban, and yes. that's all recruiting. But what's they insane have, they, now is they have a quarterback. Two is the best quarterback in the country, I feel like, honestly. The most accurate. He will play them to a national championship. You heard <sighs> it here first. I'm a little biased with Murray, but, yeah. Two is super good. What's crazy, I saw this. Since the passer rating, like, stat became official, yeah, he has the highest like, of all time right now. What is he, like, 97 or something? Yeah, he's like 97.8. You know who's third? Oh. Kyler Murray of all time, 97.3. But the fact is still, Tua, what's crazy, I saw a stat on this as well. He is the only quarterback in the top five, the Power Five conferences, to not play in the fourth quarter. He hasn't played in the fourth quarter this year. He hasn't had to. It's, it's a blowout they score 50 points a game. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and then you just have it's Al- okay, yeah. who also led their team to a national championship. <laughs> yeah, but what's crazy about Alabama is too is like as much as they dominate, who do they play? Who does the SEC ever play? They play teams in the SEC. That's why it's the they best conference. They haven't played anybody yet. Yeah, but give them. I mean, they're gonna eventually have Who's to. Who's an SEC that good though? LSU's fifth in the okay, country. Okay, LSU and you're Georgia. You're gonna have to play Florida. You're gonna have to play Georgia. Mm, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna play. I don't think they play Georgia. Just, they only play Georgia in championship game. They're not, really? in their, they're not in their side of the conference. They don't even go over? Nope. They only play in Athens. Or they don't even play in Athens. They would only play them as the SEC championship game. I mean, I assume we're thinking LSU or Georgia. Yeah, obviously. Play them in the, I don't know. Yeah. I, just, I don't know. Georgia is, I feel like this year, not really on the same level as Alabama as it won last year. No. I don't know I what's going on. I think the Georgia team was better than last year. Um, they might start the other guy. Just there's still, I mean, he was also the number one rated quarterback coming out of high school. There's still a it's great like Clemson team. did. Clemson said, "Oh, you, Kelly Bryant, you." I feel bad for that guy. Okay, what's so insane? What happened this week? So people don't know, Clemson had a quarterback who led him to the playoffs last year for college football. Started him, had his number one or number two quarterback recruit come out to be a freshman in college named Trevor Lawrence. Great hair, by the way, best hair in college football. Good flow. 
Very good flow. Reminds me of Sunshine a little bit, except yeah, for a really way better arm. <laughs> Anyways, he, Kelly Bryant and him were battling, and Kelly Bryant ended up losing his job to his freshman this year. Yeah. And decided he's going to transfer. This Saturday in Trevor Lawrence's first game, he gets hurt. Like it's concussion, taken, right? It was like it was a neck strain. I actually, saw, it wasn't I saw even the a concussion. Yeah. yeah, a neck strain. And since Kelly Bryant was going to transfer, he wasn't even at the field. So they had to go their third string quarterback for Clemson and still won. They pulled off a comeback against Syracuse. If so I'm Syracuse Kelly, beat him last year. If I'm Kelly Bryant, I don't. F- I mean, I mean, speak. I don't want to speak for him, but I don't fault him at all for leaving. No, Clemson. I don't either. It's if your you're not, you're a graduate. if you lead a team to the college football playoff. And then you come in next year, and they, they give a job to the other guy. I don't. I mean, okay, let's say he won the job. Whatever. Well, show the I stats still go too. with Kelly Bryant. Well, show yeah, I showed the stats too though. Trevor Lawrence outplayed him this year. It was like, it was even close. Like it was obvious who should have been starting. I don't. I just don't feel like it should be like a what have you done for me lately? What yeah. have you done for me lately? Kelly Bryant just led you to the college football playoff. That's what yeah. happened. Bold prediction. Kelly Bryant's gonna transfer to Oklahoma. They're gonna get another transfer. I don't see him going to Oklahoma. Why not? I mean, he's a perfect quarterback for that situation or that like that scheme. That scheme, right? Imagine, imagine I'm just getting another transfer and he wins Eisman next year. <laughs> he goes to Oklahoma. I mean, yeah, they're gonna be good again. They're gonna be good again. All right, let's go with our let's wrap this up a little bit. Let's go with our Sunday NFL picks with the games this week. I'm gonna let's ask do you. It. You a throw, game. You're gonna throw the picks at me. I'm gonna, throw I'm gonna pick them, and you're gonna pick them, and I'm gonna argue why you're wrong, or you're or gonna, right. Or I you're might gonna, agree with you. Yeah. Maybe depends on you can the weather. Agree too. I can agree to disagree. Free country. <sighs> I'm glad you know that. Go ahead. All right. Throw it at me. I'm just gonna go rapid fire, and then you. Tennessee can, can Buffalo. Buffalo. Josh Allen. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start <laughs> off where you're picking the worst team in football. <laughs> you're picking Buffalo over Tennessee, who's three and one, and just beat the Jags. Buffalo. Did you hear me? Go. Next one. <laughs> ah, God. Miami, Cincinnati. Miami. Tanny Hill. Woo. That's Cincinnati's top 10 team in football. They... <laughs> All right. I'm not worried about it. We're going to write these down after, and we're going to make a bet on who gets more right because this is just ridiculous who are already picking. You're already 0 2. I'm only two games. I'm guessing in. you picked the Colts against the Patriots, and the game already happened, right? No, I picked Tom. Oh, are you sure? You, you picked Tom? You never bet against Tom Brady. My dad told me that. <laughs> I have a dad. Okay. Yeah. Baltimore at Cleveland. Getting a phone call. That's going to have to be silent. Um, what did you say? <laughs> I said Baltimore at Cleveland. Baltimore. All right, finally. You use your brain. Green Bay at Detroit. Um, Green Bay. Okay, I'm going to agree with you on that, even though it's at Detroit. Jacksonville, Kansas City. Game of the week for sure. That's a great game. Great game. Jalen Ramsey on Tyree Kill. He's already calling him out saying he's not a receiver. Jalen Ramsey calls out everybody. I'm surprised he hasn't called out (laughs) freaking. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, who who has he not called out? That's a snarf right there. He snarfed that. That is so awesome. Okay, I'll go Kansas City still. Too high power of an offense. Uh, Yeah. Sorry about that, America. (laughs) <laughs> go ahead. And Texas. I'm going to go with Kansas City, <laughs> too. I really think so. Also, little bias. Mahomes, my quarterback, at the same time, he's gotten to the point where you can't pick. I mean, their defense is bad, but the Jaguars' offense isn't, like, super stellar. No. Like, Kansas City gets a team like the Rams where the offense is just amazing. That's where a game you probably pick the other way, but. I think the offense is too high-powered for, for Jacksonville to stay in that game. That's such a good defense, too, and the Kansas City defense is not so good, but I don't know. It's hard to not pick. Kansas City's offense and Mahomes right now until yeah. they show otherwise. Too many weapons. Maybe this is a week. Maybe I get this game wrong and I know the truth about Kansas City, but at the same time, I just don't want to pick against them. Yeah. I don't know why. What we else got, we got? We got Denver Broncos against the Jets. Wow. Sam Darnold, New York Jets, winning that game. You are such a USC biased guy, aren't you? Why are you, would I pick Denver? Because their defense is good and the Jets aren't good. The Jets will be good. Yeah, you in know the why. future. Sam Darnold's at the helm. I'm going on to the next game because I don't want to hear Sam Darnold's name the rest of the day. Okay. Atlanta against Pittsburgh. Uh, the Atlanta. battle of the underachieving. Can I think Atlanta. That? Yeah, underachieving. Uh, Pittsburgh's I mean, not Pitts- the same team without Le'Veon, I guess. Yeah, that guy I mean, doesn't even want to play football, I guess. So He's coming back week seven. 
That's the rumor. Might be a little too late. That's the rumor. I definitely go Atlanta there. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to go with Atlanta too. <laughs> Giants at Ca- Carolina. Hmm. This is what I don't get about the Giants. You have the highest paid receiver, probably the best receiver in the game. Oh, you yes. You then go and get Saquon Barkley with the second overall pick. Mm-hmm. Uh, you keep Eli because you think if uh, all those pieces play well, you have a shot to get to the playoffs. Problem is, the offensive line's still horrible. The offensive line's horrible, and you know what you didn't name? A defensive player. For a reason, because their defense is absolutely I, I don't think terrible. the Giants do anything this year. I go I don't Carolina. Think, Carolina's I go. been really good. Carolina's got, like, top five defense. Cam Newton's playing super well. McCaffrey's just catching every single ball. I got he's, Carolina I guess he's running back. big. Thing. I think Carolina wins by, like, 20. You might be right. Uh, what else? Oakland? Uh, Oakland at LA. LA. Chargers. Uh, Rivalry game. Never yeah. know. Raiders won last week. Did they deserve to win? Maybe not, but they still won. A win's they a win. And the Chargers s- just, I actually, they went up against a good Rams team. Yeah. I, I think the Chargers win there at home. Um, Phillip Rivers has a good game. Uh, Chargers win. Not by a lot, but they do squeak it out. Might be a field goal game there. I feel like the game's going to come down to special teams. And that's where the Chargers kicker is the worst in football. And I think they still are missing Bosa big time. I yeah, think. and I, I, I think I'm going to go with the Raiders on this one. I think maybe they saw what a win looks like in the win column. John Gruden maybe get some confidence in the players. They did. Belt. And so maybe so. I don't, that's a tough game. That's just like a pick em. I agree. Minnesota at Philadelphia. Another great, great game. game. Really good. Uh, I like Minnesota, and I like their defense. Um, going into Philly... That's a tough environment. I'm going to go. Philadelphia just lost to Tennessee. It's either Philadelphia's not as good. Maybe as we, Wentz is getting his leg. Yeah, I think Wentz is just getting ready to, to, to kind of explode the, the rest of the They're a team that could be scary later on. They have so many injuries. I'm going to go Minnesota, though. Yeah, I go Minnesota. I think I'm going to go Minnesota as well. I really do. Well, Arizona at San Francisco. The battle of the game nobody's going to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go. C.J. Beathard and the San Francisco 49ers. I'm going to go watch a different game. Okay, L.A. Rams <laughs> at Seattle. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rams. Yeah. Rams, but not I, – I don't, I don't see it being a blowout, honestly. I don't think the I don't, I don't, I don't think, think Seattle has a chance to keep up. Uh, I think this is going to be a scoring? bad game. I think it's going to be – Like a blowout? A blowout. I think Seattle's offensive line is so bad – and you're gonna have Darnold and Sue constantly coming at him. That the Rams might win his game by three. And the second, I don't, I don't see it being like a thirty point game or anything like that. But I, really? I do think. Uh, I think the Rams offense can score forty five on anybody, and I don't see Seattle scoring that is many that points. That's at Seattle. That's at Seattle. Yeah. I mean, yes, you have home field and stuff, but that's a t- I go Rams still. Uh, yeah, the consensus easily Rams. The Rams are the favorite in every game the rest of the year. Right. Until they play somebody. Actually, right. it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Right. Dallas at Houston. Is this the last game we got? No, we have one, we have the Monday night game. Oh, okay, Dallas and Houston. Uh, I mean, feed Zeke, right? I'm gonna go Dallas. I'm gonna go Houston this one. Big okay. Deshaun Watson fan. I think they realized how to win a game last week against the Colts. I think Dallas has issues uh, on the outside with the receivers. Yes, I don't. They have nobody to throw to. That's the thing. But I I I, I go Dallas. You still go Dallas. Yeah. I'm gonna go Houston. That Monday night game. Let's wrap this up. Washington at New Orleans. Um, I believe Drew Brees is like what? Is it is it like 200 yards before he gets all-time passing mm-hmm. yards? Um, I want to see that, but I also I really am a big fan of Brees and the Saints. Um, I think New Orleans wins there at home. I think so, too. I think what's very key is that they don't have that much of a rush game. Mm-hmm. Kamara's well, obviously Kamara out of the backfield. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, he's more like a catching guy. Yeah, he had a right. good game last week, but besides that, he had like 30 yards almost like every appearance. Right. But Mark Ingram comes back. People forget about that. It's yeah, his first I, game back. I think New Orleans Gave wins. it to him in the trenches, give Kamara on the outside. Their offense is even more deadly. I think they New Orleans wins big. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say that too. Um, yeah. That's all the picks, and that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for, Thank you for joining us. Remember joining. to follow us on Twitter, yeah. Buck and Brock 1, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Yeah. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you.